Yo, what is good everybody? It's your boy Jakar checking in for another reaction video. I'm actually on the way to the gym right now and one of my favorite rappers just dropped a new single, a new song. It was supposed to be an outro to I already know that this album is going to be not only legendary, potentially a classic, this brand new album, The Forever Story. And I'm excited to react this, to this song, 2007, J.I.D. J.I.D. is a part of Dreamville Records, and so that's how I really started to listen to him, because I would listen to Cole all the time. And then some of the people that would come out, Kaz, Ari Lennox, and um, and J.I.D. really stuck out to me, Earth Gang and stuff, but J.I.D. really stuck out to me. I listened to his whole discography, love him, love him. I'm so excited for this album. But... I saw somebody comment. I didn't listen to the song yet, but I did click and read through some of the comments first. And somebody said, J.I.D. has one of the strongest pens, which is true. One of the best lyricists I've ever heard. But he said, well, when he's on his storytelling and conscious rap, that's when it gets very scary and so fucking true. So fucking true. And this is a song like, he, yeah, he has his lyrics and he has his talks throughout song he's telling stories but what people are saying this is something that he's really finally is telling his story all the way through getting a record deal you know the grind the grit and becoming where he is today super excited for the album once again that's gonna be my first ever album reaction first time listening album reaction on this channel so that's you know just a blessing that it's gonna come from him but also before i start the song you guys if you can please click the subscribe button like share comment below how you feeling it as well but also check out my top 30 favorite rappers playlist that i'm working on right now as we go through and let me know your favorite artists as well so let's get into it Yeah, 2007, cold drop to come up. I was in high school playing corner. I never dreamt of mumbling words in front of hundreds. Studying plays all summer. I hit the league if my growth spurt coming on my mom. 2009, bro dropped the warm up. I was in warm ups playing Wheezy and you came me little dragon flame breathing a wheel. Patrick had the studio dorm room next to me. I freestyled over his beat. He started off by letting us know the timeline by speaking on J. Cole's mixtapes right there the warm up and the come up if he hit his growth spurt on his mama he would have been trying to hit hit the league and that's everybody's dream right that's, especially as a young black man that's your dream but i play db like a key snatch a nigga chain to lead talib parley i could be lyric lead but i put on cleats scribble lines going through my mind like a paper piece while i cover three playing nickel doing safety reads watch the flash i can rap but i rather tackle and pedal back get a pick when my growth spurt hit i'm gonna be captain and i was around 2010 no cap the practice we recorded and we got it on wax and on campus i heard about a couple rappers from Atlanta said them niggas who snapped them maybe we could make something happen and shit I wasn't serious enough to even be curious he said I wasn't serious enough to be curious you see how it happens like that where you're just living he's like hey I didn't get my growth spurt so I'm not gonna play ball but I'm gonna play football now I'm the captain now I'm in now I'm doing track now people saying there's people down in ATL that's rapping I'm not serious enough to be curious but and now we're gonna listen more. It's it's crazy what life, I love songs that show the journey. Because right now, you guys may be watching this video, you may be in whatever funk you're in, or maybe life is going phenomenal, whatever. But more often than not, sometimes we're confused on life, right? We're, we're thinking to ourselves, what is our journey really gonna consist of? I, I remember they said, if you had a book that told your entire life story from start to finish, would you read it? And for me personally, no, because I, 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 I don't want to know what everything happens. I want to live it, right? But that's a good question. Because right now you're, you don't know what's going to happen, but you just got to have faith that something's going to turn out like this. This story, these rappers that tell their story, 
it could happen to you. Something's right around the corner for you right now. Look, the sideline story came out September 2011. Eve said around that time, we was hunting for a record under lots of pressure. Just combine the leverage with a better effort. You can find a sound that's and get it on the ground forever. Maybe you can bless a little brown effervescent kid. Youngest so seven cool. from the six, eight section, section 80 drop. Yeah, we used to play that shit to death. And if I recollect correct, you tried to sign up for yourself. That was high power. J. Cole made that beat for Kendrick. All right, let's keep listening. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Friends take a little shot, smoke a lot of cannabis. Who this nigga on the campus? Nah, niggas giving practices. Acting like a rock star. Going from in the dorm to in the car, leaving the football field. But well, fuck that, we still sorry. And the problem from the home front. On my home screen, calling me, I don't want to answer. My brother Carl, he just said my granny had cancer. I'm supposed to graduate and make my way back to Atlanta. No job, no money or nothing from balling because between that and school, yeah, you see, even his dad said, if if you gonna be rapping instead of going to school, just start packing. Just start packing. <sighs> Shit. But understand, that's what every parent like. Think about it. If you was a parent right now, if you was a parent right now, you just want the most security for your child, right? And I had to learn that. I had to understand that. That they're not trying to be lame and not trying to but they just want the security for you so like in their minds it's like yo you're really gonna drop out of college to be a rapper that just sounds terrible but some of y'all got it <laughs> some of y'all got it but some of y'all really shouldn't drop out of fucking school to be a rapper i'll tell you that much but some of y'all probably right now got it inside you to be like jid and so that's up to you the course that you want to take the leaps you want to take. This is my son. He came from these nuts. This Negro come back from school all tatted up like the Sistine Chapel talking about. So I'm like, hey man, sometimes you got to work or don't be to do what you really want to do. We went through this whole brain wrestle. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, yeah, he yeah, won. Yeah. He decided that, hey, man, I'm putting this thing, I'm doing this. This is my job. And he committed to it. And hey, the rest is history. I'm looking at him. I believe in him. I know what was in him. Yo. That's all it takes sometimes to, to just have somebody, have somebody let you know, I need y'all to hear me. You don't need anybody to believe in you besides your damn self. All you need is yourself and God. But when I tell you, if you just have one person, even if it's a friend, stay close to them. You need someone that knows you're not crazy, knows that you really got something going stay away try your best to stay away from anybody who's not or you're not supportive not believing that's one of the best things that i can say about my family my immediate family i love them to death because of that even when i sound even when i'm going on these rants and i'm going on these tangents about hey i'm gonna create this this is a business plan this is what i'm this is what i'm doing oh yeah i'm a part of this now um this is what i'm gonna make in videos whatever <laughs> whatever they say we believe in you just don't stop we believe in you just don't stop yeah we'll have these brain wrestles like jid his dad right but and i'll and i'll sit there and listen and be coachable to what they have to say but damn that's amazing feeling to hear that his dad really just sat sunk in and said i believe in you when he had to play my shit for cold but i knew we knew the game and he pulled up to a show and that's where we first met but i ain't think of it no more till said brown said that i should open up for home and on my own shit if i want it only four cities and grown men uncomfortable in their own skin but all i wanted was a chance it feel like i'm in the mannequin just chat. one chance Still stands i'll say this real quick because i'm loving this flow i don't want to fuck it up but understand that you're just one phone call away. If you're selling things, you're one phone call away. You're one email away. If you're, if you're, hey, you're one message away. You're one new person in your business. You're one new client away. You're one new, uh, one new link up. If you're looking for love, you're one new link up away from me and that new new person. You're one new getting outside and exploring away from seeing something brand new, from experiencing something new. One text message away from really either from really opening up a new conversation new communication with someone that's new or from before 
just one away. You gotta always understand that. That's why he said, I just needed a chance. I just needed one chance. In the streets of East Atlanta, mama said, don't take advice. They gon' try to take advantage. I was about to sign with Coach K. I ain't taking the advantage. Cole say, hold on, wait, bro. I got the plan, so come on. like that because it's called the forever story I'm gonna have to re-listen to this entire thing but this might be one of my new motivational tracks on everything his dad's speech JID's entire verse the whole seven minutes <laughs> and then Cole at the end just saying that like he you could see it you could tell you could look at somebody in their eyes and you could just know like this person is not to be fucked with. They actually are taking this shit seriously. They're not here for games. Like, they need this shit. They don't just want to be a rapper. Or, no, I need to. I got the, like he said, I got the tats all on my body now. I'm dropping out of school. I'm telling my dad that I'm willing to pack up and be homeless for this shit. I'm not fucking playing. I'm not playing. That's so cold, man. And for him to make that entire song, like, I'm gonna listen to it again and again. Like, I can already tell that I'm really loving this song. 10 yo. out of 10. This is a 10 out of 10 song. The entire chorus, I mean, the entire the entire production, there's like five different beats, and they're all perfect. I kind of want to hear a song on that last beat. I really want to hear a song on that last beat. But listen, listen, you guys, J.I.D. is just... This is why this is why he's one of my favorites and this is why he's my favorite new artist. He's not new, but you guys know what I mean. He's new er like this is his first album that he's putting out at a at a peak pivotal moment where it's like he has the most fans, the most love at this moment. He's kind of like he's kind of yeah, he's like Ja Morant. He's like Ja Morant in those terms because He's either John Morant right now or he's John Morant during the beginning of last season. It's like this is his this album is going to be um so powerful, so impactful to his life and to us listening and getting that musical spirit inside of us that it's going to impact that it's going to it's going to make things happen. It's going to make the it's going to really make things move. Um, it's going to do a lot for J. Cole and Dreamville. J. Cole has a super prodigy under him, and and he already could tell. He already could see it. We were kind of waiting to see which artist was going to be that one to really blast off, and J.I.D. was the one. Because, yeah, there's Boss as well, Omen, but J.I.D. Is, is the one. He's the one. So, yeah, don't want to keep going and going on, but... Wow, that was my first listen. That was my first listen. Wow. For my first listen, that was amazing. This is my first time listening to a brand new song with you guys. I've never done that before. I always wanted to, and I think it came out good. <laughs> Despite the crazy storm and, and how it's feeling out here. But all in all, I just want to say thank you guys for the support. Please subscribe, share like this video and comment below what how you guys feel about this song it really hit me it really really hit me i'm gonna re-listen to it again right when i get off this and like i said don't forget to check out my top 30 favorite rappers i'm ranking my top seven songs from them which i actually really have been enjoying and i'm gonna keep it going so i'll talk to you guys have a good day peace